The main reason I'm making this video is because there are a lot of people who aren't aware of the risk of wearing colored contact lenses. A lot of people don't know where to safely buy contact lenses from or how to safely wear them. This results in temporary and sometimes permanent eye damage. So I'll tell you why you should care about this. So this is your eye and you're probably looking at this and thinking, wow, that is one damaged eye. What is going on here? The truth is, I'm just not very good at drawing. <laughs> so this is what most people will see when they look at the front of your eye. You've got your pupil here and you've got your iris. And then you've got this clear coating of your eye which goes just on top of your iris and your pupil area. This is called your cornea. I'm also really bad at writing neatly. And what happens to your cornea when you wear contact lenses the wrong way are things like corneal abrasions. So when that outer layer of your eye gets scratched and it doesn't sound like much, but it really, really hurts. You can also get corneal swelling, usually from lenses being too small. So a good analogy for this is if you bought a pair of shoes that were too small for your feet, but you tried to jam your feet into them anyway and you wore these shoes all day and then your feet started to swell up and get blisters and you could no longer get the shoe off your foot because of how swollen your foot is, that can happen with your cornea. And then the contact lenses, which are too small, are really difficult to remove because the cornea has swollen, resulting in people ending up in the emergency room at hospitals, panicking about not being able to remove the lens from their eye. You can also get corneal ulcers, which are similar to getting blisters on your feet. And all of those things can lead to permanent corneal scarring, which can impact your vision. And you can also get eye infections if you are unhygienic with the way that you store and insert your contact lenses. If an infection gets really bad, if it's a bacterial infection, that can also lead to permanent vision loss. So these eye injuries can happen with both people that wear corrective contact lenses and color contact lenses, but they happen at a rate far more frequently and far more common with people that wear colored contact lenses than people that wear corrective lenses. And the reason is, is most people don't think they need to treat colored contact lenses the same way that they need to treat corrective contact lenses when they actually really should. So this means you need to get your eyes measured, you need to get your sizes, you need to get your lenses made to fit your eye size, and you need to get shown how to correctly insert, remove, and store your contact lenses. There is one person who is integral to this whole process who can teach you how to safely wear your contact lenses and greatly reduce the risk of any temporary or permanent eye damage and that person is your optometrist! So if you are wanting to buy and wear colored contact lenses safely, I will go into more detail about how to do that in just a minute. I just wanna say right now that the main reason I'm making this tutorial is because not many people know the risk of wearing contact lenses or how to reduce those risks. Now there will still be a lot of people that will hear this information and will still want to partake in the risky behavior and that's fine, it's your body, do whatever you want with it. There are lots of people that know that drink driving is risky and they will drink drive anyway. There are lots of people that know that unprotected sex is risky and they'll still engage in that behavior anyway. But I think the problem with contact lenses is that most people don't know that it's a risky behavior to go and buy a contact lens without a prescription from a random website or from a random street vendor and then put them in their eyes without ever seeing an optometrist. So if you know the risks and you don't care, that's one thing. This video is for those who are not normally risk takers, who want to do things in the safest possible way because they value their their eyesight and they don't want anything to happen to it over something as stupid as a Halloween costume. So in my personal opinion, there are three steps that you should take to acquire contact lenses safely, and this is what I normally do. I suggest that you go and get an eye exam and you get your prescription or your eye measurements taken. Some countries require you to have a prescription in order to buy colored contact lenses. So in places like the United States, the FDA guidelines are that you need to have a prescription in order to buy colored contact lenses. Fun fact, if a store or a vendor or an online company will sell you colored contact lenses without a prescription, they're actually breaking FDA law. Other places like Australia, they just require you to have your measurements, not a full-on prescription. The measurements that you get or the measurements that are in your prescription are usually a base curve measurement. So this is the curve of your cornea. It averages about 8.6 and they can get this through a machine which will scan and measure your corneal curve. Your diameter, that's just how wide it is. So an average lens is about 14 millimeters. It can go through all the way to about 22 millimeters for a full scleral contact lens. And your power. So I'm Plano, I don't need any corrective lens vision stuff but other people might, in which case you can pay extra to have your corrective lens stuff put into your colored contact lens. And so all of this is directly linked to going and seeing your optometrist. That is not a very good arrow. <laughs> but the point stands, optometrist, really important to this process. Step number two, this step is how you acquire your contact lenses. So ideally you want safe, high oxygen permeability lenses. Here in Australia, I can buy those directly from my optometrist and they sell lenses like these, which are the printed mass produced lenses. Other countries, optometrists might not directly sell you colored contact lenses, in which case you'll need to find a safe company to sell you the contact lens. Rule of thumb that I usually follow and I usually try and buy my lenses online is if I can go to a website and I can add whatever colored lens and go straight to the checkout and they never ask for my measurements and they never ask for a prescription, 
I don't buy from them. I want to buy from places that really value your eye health and that want to ensure that people are wearing safe fitting contact lenses. I'll put a couple of places that I trust in the description box. Once you have gotten your contact lenses, either through your optometrist ordering them in or through your online supplier sending them to you, you want to go back to your optometrist and have them look at the contact lenses in your eyes to make sure they are fitting comfortably and that there's no air bubbles and that they're not too tight or too loose. They will also show you how to safely remove and insert your contact lenses. There is the risk that if you don't know how to do it properly, you can scrape scratch your cornea when you're putting it in or taking it out. And they'll also show you how to properly clean and store your lenses. If you don't properly clean and store your lenses, that's when bacteria can start to grow on them. And if you're inserting them and you're scratching up your cornea and you're introducing bacteria to your eye, that's most likely going to lead to an eye infection. So these are all really important things to know. And the best person to teach you about it is your up. So you want to do all three of these things. If you have your measurements and you get a lens which is fit to your eye and you're shown how to safely insert and remove and store them, but the lens is made from a really low quality material with low oxygen permeability, then you can still damage your eyes. If you have your measurements taken and you get a really high quality lens, but you aren't shown how to insert, remove or store them, you can still cause abrasions, you can still cause infections. If you have the world's highest quality lens and you know how to safely insert and remove and store them, but it isn't made to your measurements, it doesn't fit your eye properly, then you can still have corneal abrasion, corneal swelling, the lens fusing to your eye, corneal ulcers, permanent vision loss, everything like that. It has to fit your eye properly. So the point of this video is go see your optometrist if you want to wear colored contact lenses because that is the only way to do it safely. If you can't afford to see an optometrist or you can't find an optometrist, then your options are buying cheap dodgy contact lenses and potentially ruining your eyesight or potentially being okay or potentially having a temporary injury which really hurts. Another option is not wearing contact lenses at all. A third option is photoshopping your eyes or using after effects to change the image of your eyes which I have done on a couple of my makeups when I couldn't afford to get the proper contact lenses. And a fourth option to temporarily change the color of your eyes is using something like Kryolan eye blood. They have this in red, black, blue, green and yellow and the way that it works is it's an eye safe blood. This one's quite thick. This is the red one and you drop it into your eyes let's see if I can well wow. and it makes everything red it makes everything feel super weird and sticky but it will give you a temporary change of eye color which you can do without seeing an optometrist it's also a little bit messier than contact lenses Whew, that takes a little bit of getting used to there are a couple of downsides to using the eye blood for one it's only a very temporary effect this will only last in my eyes a couple of minutes so if you wanted to go out to like a zombie walk or a comic con or a party it would be highly impractical to keep putting this in your eyes every five minutes and once you open this it only stays sterile for about 30 days so it does have a short shelf life after that time it can start to grow bacteria and you don't want to be introducing bacteria into your eyes. That's how you get infections. But I think that's about it. It also says do not use in irritated eyes or with lenses. So it's pretty straightforward. For those who saw the first video and are wondering why I remade it, there are two reasons. One is that I got some information from my optometrist about the full sclera lenses, which was different information to what I was given by a lens technician who works in the industry. So I wanted to make sure that I knew which information was both correct. So for now, I'm just talking about the smaller 14 millimeter standard contact lenses. I'll talk about full sclera lenses in a different video, just because they are a lot harder to get fit. It's a lot harder to find an optometrist or a lens tech to help you with them. And they're a lot more dangerous to wear. So I wanted to do a little bit more research into that, whereas the smaller 14 millimeter standard contact lens are really straightforward with how you safely acquire them and wear them. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was interesting and informative, and I really hope that you do value your eyesight more than you value adding a little bit of extra to your costume. In my personal opinion, it's not worth risking your eyesight for one night of costume parties if you can't afford to see an optometrist and acquire lenses safely. I'll be back with some more Halloween makeup tutorials soon, and I'll see you guys then.